welcome to Daily Mix. We want to talk about something very important because kids, yes, back to school time is just around the corner and for some folks maybe already has started. So here to talk more about how we can help our children get through maybe some of the stress they may be feeling about that is Sarah Lister Guest. She's a marriage and family therapist with Southwest Behavioral and Health Services. Thank you so much for being back on the show. We appreciate it. Thank you again for having me. Yeah, so the stress is real. It's a real thing for a lot of these kids. And so, you know, we want to help them manage the stress because if they don't do it properly, it can lead to some very dangerous situations, right? Yes, kids will find their own way to cope, such as drugs. We know that statistics say that um, a lot of kids have used, or about half of um, kids by the time they're 18 have used some type of illegal substance. Um, generally one in four by the age of 12 have tried their first drink. So this is a situation that we as parents obviously need to take seriously. So if we are trying to help our children deal with this stress, you know, what are some tips for helping them manage it? First, we need to be able to recognize that only about 12 to 18 percent of parents are actually able to recognize the physiological symptoms of anxiety mm -hmm. in children, which can be headaches, stomach aches, um, panic attacks, stuff like that. And so one of the things we want to do is we want to find that balance. Mm -hmm. And so it's about having a healthy balance between school and fun activities for them to do and have downtime. Just like parents, we don't come home from work and then want to keep working all day. Right. We want to have our own stress management and relief. Well, you mentioned anxiety. I mean, yeah. is there a major difference between stress and anxiety? anxiety yes so stress is just kind of those day-to-day -day things that we feel and we're just kind of in those moments and it's it's quick and passing anxiety can be a little bit more long-lasting in ch younger children we're gonna see headaches and stomach aches the same with tweens and again only 12 to 18 percent of parents are able to recognize that um, anxiety is going to be that constant worrying that constant fear that's just it's not relieved no matter right. what we're doing so let's talk about some ways then if it is stress related how we can help our children relieve it. So one of the first things as I say is self-care, 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 because what are they doing? What are they doing in their downtime? Because we really want to play up to our kids' strengths. Some kids are really, they're just very driven academically, and that, that's great, because so doing more academics may help them. Mm -hmm. Other kids are more, you know, like I think to my children, I have one that loves art and stuff, and so I say, why don't you go do an art project? Or, help them find an outlet. Yeah, find an outlet, find something. You know, I have a lot of kids on um, that I see currently that, you know, they love playing outside. Mm -hmm. Like, let them go outside and release that energy. You also talk about uh, changing their thinking. Changing their thinking in what way? Letting them know and sending that message to them that this too will pass. Okay. And really getting that into their um, thought process of this is just a temporary thing. It's this isn't going to last forever, and you know you're going to be okay through it. And we as parents also can't expect them to relieve this stress overnight, right? It's one step at a time. Right. We want to take baby steps, especially when they have big projects or big tests and stuff. We want to break it down for them, help them break things down, because that also teaches them that stress management as well. Because if they're able to start saying, okay, well, I can just do this little step right now, and then later on I can do the next little step, that helps them learn, and it helps build those skills for life. And how does the goal Goal setting play into all of that and relieving that stress because if you can see the end of the tunnel the kids have to be able to, they're just like adults in that way that we want to be able to see that end of the tunnel when they're stressed we want to know that there is going to be an ending to it okay some really great advice there thank you so much and once again I mean we want to help our kids deal with this especially as we go into a new school year you have some great advice also on the website it's sbhservices.org if you need anything relating to children and mental health of course very important yes. so thanks for being here we thank appreciate you for having me okay if you're